I just thought it was so cool to be able to bring in the new year, seeing my one of my favorite artists of all time. So there's another clip from the concert. Alright, so fast forward to later on that month where we record or re-record our intros for the District 410 TV show. So as you all know, I'm a very, very busy boy. So fast forward to, we are now in Arlington, Virginia, setting up and preparing for the Interfusion Festival, which is a four-day festival about movement and body wellness. All right, so the bags are packed. We have the equipment bag, which has the camera and lighting equipment in it. Blue bag is for shoes and hats and big blue is all the clothes. We're getting ready to hit the festival. I'm very excited. Hello. about uh, <clears throat> like 1 a.m. I'm in my hotel room across the street from the hotel where the festival is and I'm about to turn in for the night because we got to get up. I want to be there at like 8.30, 8, 8 a.m., 8.30 tomorrow <clears throat> to set up and open everything up for the opening ceremony. So, yeah, day one down. We actually, you know, we knocked it out, but we were really, like, hitting it hard. So, it's, um, I hope I can get to sleep, because I lately haven't really been sleeping, but hopefully I can get some rest, and, yeah, we're going to tear it up tomorrow. Super excited. Uh, the festival so far seems to be a very, like, vibey situation. So, we're going to see, like... If that energy continues um, tomorrow, because tomorrow is going to be the day when like all the people show up, so we're going to see. But yeah, I'm very in intrigued and excited. But now it's time to get some rest. <laughs> So here we are, we're in my very, as you can see, messy hotel room. Um, I'm changing from look number one from today into look number two, and then we're heading to gig number two, and then back to gig number one later on after gig number two is through. You know how it goes, so we're about to change and get into it. So this is look number one. <laughs> Number two, just made it back to the hotel, 
It's about 11 o'clock p.m. So a full day, but we made it. Mission accomplished. Killed it. You know what I mean? So about two. I think we're going to power down. We might get dressed and go to the party. Or we might just hang out here at the room. Decisions. But either way. So inside of this fort, which we call the love fort, we left paper and markers for people to leave us messages of love, whether it be love stories or a love note, and it came out to be this really cool tapestry. Check it out. We're back, back in the room. It's the end of day three, which is kind of like the final day. So tomorrow we pack it all up and take it all home. Uh, overall, if I describe the experience in one word, it would be experience. <laughs> yeah. So it is about six ten in the morning. My last official day here in Crystal City. Uh, slash Arlington for the Interfusion Festival and um, I am I feel like I've had an experience you know what I mean it's been very eye-opening to be a part of this festival uh, especially from the perspective of where I was initially meaning that um, kind of I spent most of it like behind the table uh, working which was cool because I really enjoyed being in my element while other people were in their element. But, um, yeah, what an experience it's been. So, 
this is my last continental breakfast, which was is the real heartbreak here. I'm going to miss waking up and not having to make my own breakfast for once. But yeah, let's see how the rest of this day pans out. Here we are, all packed up and ready to hit the road. So we're going back to the festival to do our last little few hours, unpack every, well, pack everything down, and then hit the road. So farewell, Hampton Inn. You've been swell. Thanks for the breakfast. Thank you. And now we prepare to head home, and then from home, we're heading to Washington, D.C., where we are going to debut as a costume designer for a Day 8 production about Langston Hughes, which is a really exciting experience. Okay, so um, I can't believe I'm on camera looking like the prettiest potato you'd ever see. But um, <laughs> today is the day of the first dress rehearsal fitting for the um, inspired, the Weary Blues inspired production that I'm working on in DC. Um, and I got an email last night where the name of the production is different than um, it was initially uh, in the first set of emails I got. So that presented a small little problem uh, considering that I have literally included the name of the pro initial production on every piece that I have made. So um, we are on our way to the rehearsal and we're going to see how this is going to pan out because it can go one of two ways. It could go the way that the second email was a mistake or it could go the way that this is the first email was a mistake and now we have to go back to the drawing board. So um, let's see how this works out. Here we are at the theater for rehearsal. Got the goods. I'm about to go make a deal. Oh, you did. Yes. That's it. That's it. Yes. <laughs> nice. Got you. Thankfully, the fitting was a success. Every piece fit perfectly. The cast loved the work. And we went on to have a really great production, which you'll see about that later because the production wasn't until April. And right now, we're only in January. So stay tuned. So it's about uh, 9.51, almost 10 p.m. on Sunday night, and the day is January 22nd. And I've been applying like crazy to um, various grants and um, residencies just because I'm like, yo, this year is the year. We got to get it. We got to elevate. We got to move above and beyond this uh, space that we've kind of been planted in. So, um Fingers crossed, we'll be looking back at this clip and those four grants on this site will be all approved, um, which will be beautiful. And we'll be able to just, you know, spread our wings this year. So fingers crossed. been outside to verify that it's not an emergency, so here we are, 
1 a.m. Your table just for two. Would you wine and dine with me? Settle down. I'm gonna raise your child. So 6.30 in the morning, and I'm about to take you on the journey of two pop-ups in one day. So this is how it starts. First, we got to pack up the space. I'm staying at a friend's house because it's closer to the gig. So, um, to closer to the first gig. So, we're going to pack up the room and then pack up the car. And get to gig one. Here we go. Okay, we're at part two, which uh, is loading all of this. I don't know if you can see it. But yeah, the whole shebang. All of that into the car. And then immediately unloading it at the venue. And unfortunately, folks, that's where we have to stop. Sorry to leave you with a little cliffhanger, but check out my day in the life video, which is the next video in this order of videos. And the new video that will come out after this will chronicle the next happenings in my life, which is a prelude and when I get to meet Kevin Aviance, which is amazing. So stick around and make sure you like, share, and subscribe.